So what I did for the most part was create a world where folks could see that a system has been designed. And so I start off with a, first with apologies. Hey listen, we're talking about race, you may not like it. I understand we get offended, offended but I'm asking that you just keep your cool until we get to the end, maybe hear me out. And this is my opinion on what the system is and what structural racism is. And then start off with two words, imagine if. And I have a series of pictures where I picture uh, a, a white family, a husband and wife and three kids who are in their village, 1600s, right? In the 1600s get up, right? And they're enjoying their village with their people that look like them until some black slave owners come and rip them from their community and put them in slavery. They string the man up and beat him in front of his wife. They take the kids and put the kids on plantations where the kids are now forced to pick cotton, these white kids. And it happens for generations. And I continue to tell the story about how Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, right? President Frederick Douglass and freed slave Abraham Lincoln worked together to end slavery. And then that's the system and how it began. And you know, whites were then under Tim Crow, set under a set of laws that prevented them from getting ahead. And then fast forward to current day, just the way the system has really been designed. And so if whites have had progress for 50 years, what is that in comparison to 600 years of black control? And in a world where blacks have had control for 600 years, if they reign supreme, then that would be a system where blacks are supremacists, or it would be a system of black supremacy. And then tell this story to where in a system of black supremacy, who then has the advantage? Who has you know, the benefit? Who has the privilege? We would all call it black privilege. And so by juxtaposing races and showing the two dynamics in different perspectives, it helps folks understand that it's not an affront on who they are, but more so, hey, this very much could have been the reverse. And this is the system that exists. And then I go through some more things and talk about implicit bias. And then the third part of my talk is to really discuss our privilege. Now we all, each one of us have a privilege to some degree and what we can do to really make a change. Again, that equity that comes uh, that you first asked about.